Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure review. And today we're taking a look at the brand new Axie Toys Dinosaur Battlefield Carnivorous Kins T-Rex Bloodblade. And I don't know if the character's name is Bloodblade or if that's like a title bestowed upon him or what, but it does sound badass. Before we get into the review here, I want to give a huge thank you to the folks over at Axie Toys for sending this out to me to review. I really do appreciate it. I think the figure looks amazing and I'm super hyped up to talk about it. So let's go ahead and get right into it, starting off with the packaging. Through the window, you are able to see the Bloodblade, even though it is kind of hard to make out what's going on because of the plastic and the glare and all that. But you could tell that the figure does look pretty damn impressive just in size it looks like a monster and then down here we get some really cool looking artwork i love the way that looks on the side of the box we get some more artwork and this is like a silhouette which looks good and then on the back we get a look at the figure itself along with some information about the figure down here we get a look at some of the weapons that he comes with and this thing is a sleeve but it's kind of hard to take off so i'm not going to worry about it and then on this side we get some more silhouette artwork and as you can see the color on this side is different from the color on the opposite side and the two colors are to represent the two color schemes that are available for this figure i believe that's the case on the back here, you could see the two different colors. Up here, we have like a more purple looking one. It's like purple and red. That thing looks amazing. I believe that Dork Lair has already done a review for the purple version, so be sure to check that out. I'll leave a link to his video in the description below. And then down here, we have the like pink and gray version, which is the one I got. Oh, actually, maybe there's a third one. Down here under the sleeve, it looks like there's a like a lighter blue one. Man, it was hard to get this sleeve off, but now I think I'm going to have to go ahead and make it happen i was not going to worry about it because i was having a hard time taking it off but uh yeah it's kind of kind of a tight fit but there we go but yeah as you can see down here there's a third one i haven't seen anyone review this blue and gray colored one that one that looks awesome they all look awesome but anyways, the box is pretty cool, it's collector friendly, and it does have some dope artwork on it. But enough about the box, let's go ahead and get this monster out and take a look. And so here we have the blood axe right out of the box, and damn, this thing is freaking awesome. Check him out, there's a lot of really great stuff going on. I love this big hulking design for a T-Rex themed character. I think that is so cool, and he looks big and intimidating next to the other Axie Toys dinosaurs. And, you know, when you think about dinosaurs, they're all types of different sizes, you know. You got little ones, big ones, whatever. And I just love that for the T-Rex, they went with this big hulking body. I think it looks awesome. And then he does have some soft goods, which, you know, I didn't. that kind of caught me by surprise. But these things around his forearms are made of soft goods, which is cool because, you know, they're pretty big armor pieces, but they stay out of, out of the way of the articulation because they're soft goods. And same thing on the lower legs here. But, yeah, look at that, man. It's a really cool looking figure. And you know, these Axie Toys dinosaurs are known for like all the added parts that you could put on there. Like all the different armor pieces and horns and spikes and all these different crazy types of things that they come with. And I think that's awesome and everything. But honestly, like I like the way the figure is right here. Maybe like this along with one of his like helmets or something. Actually, I think he only comes with one helmet. But you know, you can add things to it and whatever. But I just think like him with this helmet, that's enough for me. I don't really need all those other armor pieces. I think it's really cool to have those things as an option. But, um, you know, in this case, I think like less is more, you know, because when he's like this, you could actually play around with the figure and pose him around. Once you have all the armor on, on there, <laughs> it gets a little bit more limited. So, uh, yeah, for me, he's probably going to spend most of his time just like this. But we will take a look at how all the armor looks and stuff like that because it is a really cool option to have. But before we do, let's go ahead and get in close and take a look at the sculpting work on the skin and on the face because they really did some incredible work. Starting off at the head, I think they did a really great job with the texture on the skin and stuff. It looks really, really dope. And then there's a lot of really good shading and different colors blended in there. It all looks really, really nice. And then as you can see, his eye is red and it does have like a, a bit of a wet type of look compared to the rest of the figure. Same thing with the teeth. Look at that. Oh man, I like the different colors on the teeth too. And the mouth does open, which is awesome because that definitely changes the entire look. You know, it kind of goes from like a serious kind of calculating <laughs> dinosaur man to an angry, ready to kill dinosaur man. So really good stuff. But yeah, look at the texture of the skin. I think that is super dope. And then pretty much the same thing going on over here. Oh, right there you can see the eye has that wet look. But yeah, really cool. 
And the texture of the skin looks good throughout the entire figure. Same thing could be said about the blending and the different colors. It all looks really nice. From afar, it seems like there are certain areas where they could have blended it just a little better. But then when you get in close and look, I mean, I think it's all very well done. Look at the color on the skin and stuff. I love these red highlights in here on the darker color. That looks really, really nice. And then taking a look at the feet. We'll look at the armor in a second here, but the feet look really good. Got the toes. And then the hands look really nice as well. So really amazing sculpting work. The most impressive thing is definitely the head. And that's the case on all these Axie dinosaurs. The head sculpts just look so incredible, you know. And I just love the paint, the colors, the detail. Everything about the way this figure looks is amazing. <laughs> okay, so now that we have all the armor pieces on him, you could see that this is pretty damn insane. <laughs> I love all these little pieces you could put on him. There's so many different options. A lot of these spikes and bones and chains are kind of modular, so you could put them in different spots and everything. And it's pretty damn awesome. It's a lot of fun putting this together. Uh, but once you do, it kind of makes it to where it's difficult to handle the figure. You can't really pose them around because you might <laughs> you might poke yourself on one of these things. And just the armor kind of gets in the way. But it does look really, really cool. When I showed this to my daughter, she was like, man, is he the king? <laughs> and it does kind of come across like a very like uh, like a royal type of barbarian guy, especially with this headpiece. It kind of looks like a like a crown almost, but it's a <laughs> it's a whole skull from another dinosaur warrior. Man, that is crazy. Just everything about this is ridiculous. But it looks so cool. And then it does have a soft goods cape. And the cape is like crazy. This is really, really nice. And it does have a very thick wire running through the side. So you could kind of pose it around. And uh, it does, it, you know, the, it's able to hold its shape really well because the wires are so thick. But look at that. And then it has like some fur up top. And like, <laughs> it's, it's crazy, man. This is insane. Look at all this stuff. And there's like, you know, there's some metal in here. Obviously, like the links for the chains are metal. But then on the necklace, there's spikes and the spikes feel like they're metal. And it's just crazy, man. But this is so cool. Like this is definitely part of the fun of these figures is, is like assembling it and just <laughs> like putting it together was crazy. It was a lot of fun, like figuring out where to put the spikes and where to hang things from and just seeing it come together. It's just like it's more and more insane as you go, you know. But this it's ridiculous. Like, the amount of detail that all these little things have is very impressive. And I just think it's a cool idea to be able to put all this stuff on. And then trying to give you a good look at the details on the armor, I know that I'll miss some things because there's so much going on here. But I'll do my best. Starting off with the crown helmet thing. Look at that. This is <laughs> straight insanity, man. Looks like he, he decapitated a triceratops and then made, like, a battle helmet out of his skull and I like how the top piece kind of connects with the the mask that's actually on the figure like the jawline connects to the top of the skull you know and it kind of just seems like a complete skull piece and he just stuck his head in the middle of there <laughs> but look at all the armor plates or like the metallic looking plates they have some really good detail on there some nice paint work I like that metal kind of bronze look that we have going on and then the details on the bone look really good too damn that is crazy look at that <laughs> straight insanity this helmet is one of the coolest things about this figure i mean it's insane like <laughs> how it sits on top of his head it's like a whole nother head on top of his head but it is so cool man look at that really great stuff and then moving on to like the shoulders here We've got some more of that metallic look, and again, it just looks incredible. Really well done. And then check out the fur on the back here. That looks really good. And I love the uh, the soft goods cape. Look at that. It looks like a bare skin rug or something. <laughs> but man, look at this stuff. And we have all these things hanging from the armor. Look how detailed all that stuff is. Look at that. We've got like bones on that plate right there. 
some more insane detail over here. It's just ridiculous the amount of detail that the armor and the bones and all that have. Look at that. Then we have some chains. We have like a soft goods loincloth. More bones hanging just from everywhere. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Like another skull piece or something. Who knows? It looks like he made armor out of every bone on this dinosaur's body. And then, like I mentioned before, these these pieces are soft goods, which is really cool. And I like how they have like designs on them. That's dope. And then we have some more armor that is just beautifully sculpted. And then we have like a tooth poking out of there and this is one of those pieces that can be removed and placed on other parts of the figure and then we have some more armor right here and then the foot and you know what's really nice about this figure it's a lot easier to get his foot off than it was on some of the past axie dinosaur figures so his foot comes off with no problem at all and then you could take this piece on and off and it does have like soft goods back here too with some buckles and designs and stuff but yeah man there is so much to show here so much detail such incredible sculpting work and paint and all that you know when you get this figure take some time to appreciate all the amazing work that went into all this sculpting because it's really like next level man they really killed it with all of the details it looks incredible in addition to the armor pieces and the various add-ons, he does come with some other accessories, including two different sets of hands. So first off, we have a set of open hands. One hand is completely open. The other hand is kind of open with his finger sticking out so you can make it look like he's pointing at someone. And then he does have a set of gripping hands that could be used to hold on to these ridiculous weapons that he comes with. And what I love about this situation is that he has no problem holding on to these weapons. With previous Axie Toys figures, I feel like the grip on the weapons isn't really that good. Like the weapon can't really sit securely in the hands and the weapons are so big that the hands can't really support them so you know they were like swinging around and stuff we don't have that problem with this guy he's able to hold these big crazy weapons and the hands stay in place and the hands themselves have a really good grip on the weapon so i love that they made that improvement on this guy and then taking a close look at the weapon starting off with this thing here i don't even know exactly what this is but it looks pretty insane it looks like he could definitely bash somebody with this and cause some damage look at that it's really well sculpted i like how the design matches the armor on the figure itself that's really cool what's that it kind of looks like a face huh or like two eyes and a like a dude wearing a hat <laughs> but yeah this is very cool looking and then he has this monstrosity look at this weapon look at the details on this look at the blade it's got some blood on it and stuff this blade doesn't even look normal look at it <laughs> Looks like a bat, kind of. But geez, it looks like it could definitely cause some damage. And I love the, the different colors that we have in there for the metal. Like, Ooh, got some more blood over here. Look at that. Yeah, I just love the inconsistencies in the colors. You know, it looks very cool. And look at the blood on there. And then this thing comes in two pieces. I'm not sure what's up with that, but it's held together by a little pin. And, uh, you know, that's cool. Whatever. I don't really know the purpose, but maybe it keeps it more sturdy. Kind of swing it around to give it a different look if you want. But yeah, I love the two weapons, especially this one. All right, so now for some size comparisons. Here we have the Blood Blade alongside the Loose Collector, Mr. Hyde, and one of the Guardians of the Horde. I can't remember who makes that. Mithril Action, I think the name of the company is. I don't know, but that figure is awesome. Anyways, the Blood Blade is freaking humongous. <laughs> look how big he is next to Mr. Hyde, which was like a monster of a figure. I didn't expect this dinosaur to be almost as big as Mr. Hyde. And I didn't think it would make this guy look so small because in my mind, I'm like, yeah, that's a big old figure too. But <laughs> yeah, he's kind of a dwarf next to these guys. But I love the way these big monstrous figures look. They're going to look amazing on the shelf. And then here we have them alongside some of the smaller Axie Toys Dinosaurs figures. And I did not expect this guy to be so much bigger than these other figures. But man, he looks incredible next to them. Definitely looks like the leader of the crew or just like the bruiser or something. He just looks so much more intimidating than these other dinosaurs. But they all look awesome together. And then here we have them alongside the NECA, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mirage Comics, General Zog, and the NECA animated series, Zork. Next up, we have them alongside the Spiro Toys, Animal Warriors of the Kingdom, Pale, and the Storm Collectibles, Golden Axe, Gilius Thunderhead. 
And then next up, we have them alongside the Mythic Legions Balam and the Mythic Legions Purplor. And I think that Mythic Legions are going to fit really well with this dinosaur figure and just like all the Axie Toys dinosaur stuff. I think all of them look really good next to Mythic Legions and they kind of fit in, you know, like thematically, I would say. Like you could kind of make that jump from like these animals and armor and goblins and things like that to fighting like these types of dinosaurs that kind of have a similar vibe to them, you know? And then here we have them alongside the Mezco 112 Collective Conan and one of the Zesray Combatant Gladiator figures. And I think that both of these work really well with this type of dinosaur, especially Conan. He's always fighting like different types of crazy looking creatures. I think having some Conan versus these dinosaurs would be pretty damn awesome. And then next up, we have them alongside one of my favorite legends of the year, the Marvel Legends Drax. And then on the opposite side, we have the Marvel Select Immortal Hulk, but with the custom head sculpt from Casting and Cave. Up, and then here we have them alongside the Marvel Legends Armadillo Build-A-Figure and the Marvel Legends Rhino. And then next up, we have them alongside a Star Wars Black Series Imperial Stormtrooper. And then on the opposite side, of course, we have a G.I. Joe Classified Cobra Trooper. And it's pretty hilarious how big this guy is next to your average 6-inch figure. You could definitely have a lot of fun with him facing off against Stormtroopers or going against G.I. Joe for some reason. Uh, but yeah, man, this thing is ridiculous. And then last but not least, here we have him alongside the Marvel Legends Renew Your Vow Spider-Man and the Marvel Legends Bucky Cap 2.0. So I went ahead and removed all of the armor so we could get a good sense of the full range of all the joints without the armor getting in the way and stuff like that. But before we take a look at the articulation, I did want to give you guys a good look at this body because I think this is a really good looking figure even with all of the armor removed. And I'm really curious to see what people do with this body as far as like customs go, you know? I've seen some people make some great customs out of the smaller dinosaurs, but I'm really curious to see what type of characters people come up with using this as a base body. Off the head, I can't really think of that many characters that this would work for, you know? One that comes to mind right away is Dragon Man. I think this would be a great base for Dragon Man, especially if you get the purple version, throw some wings on there, and get like a 3D sculpted Dragon Man head, throw it on there, match the paint, and you would have a pretty much perfect Dragon Man custom. It'd be a little stylized, you know, and you may have to add like shorts or something, but aside from that, it would be a pretty damn awesome Dragon Man, and I would love to see someone do that and then sell it to me. <laughs> but yeah, aside from Dragon Man, I really can't think of any other characters where this would be like a good base body for it, you know? It's just so unique and different. But I'm sure there's master customizers out there that are seeing this and, you know, they're coming up with all kinds of crazy things they could do with this. So I look forward to seeing all that type of stuff. But yeah, it's a great looking body. But let's go ahead and get into the articulation. And I think that Axie Toys did a really great job with the articulation on this figure, especially considering the size and the unique body style that he has. I think they found ways to give him nice articulation. All the joints have pretty good range. And I am having a lot of fun playing around with this figure. So I think they did a great job with the articulation. But let's go ahead and get into it starting off with the head. So he does have movement at the lower neck and at the upper neck. Using both of those, you could get him to look up to about right there, which is pretty damn good. More importantly, he could look down to about right there, which is nice because he'll probably spend most of his time looking down at other characters. And then the head does swing side to side. And look at that. There's some pretty good range on that. And then you can also rotate the head itself. So you can give him a little bit of attitude. Yeah, so pretty good stuff at the head and the neck. And then for the torso, he does have a diaphragm cut and a ball joint at the waist. Using both of those, it does move pretty good. Check that out. It could go to the side a really good amount. It could go back only to about right there. And then it only goes forward to about right there. I wish he was able to go forward just a little more. But again, considering how big he is, you know, that's respectable for sure. And then he is able to twist on the diaphragm cut and on the waist joint. So yeah, look at that. Good movement there. This type of torso setup definitely allows for some pretty dynamic movement, you know. <laughs> look at that. That's pretty awesome right there. Yeah, so pretty good stuff at the torso, although I do wish that he was able to crunch forward just a little bit more. And then at the shoulder joints, he doesn't really have like a butterfly joint. It's one of those situations where, you know, you've got like a long peg in there and then there's this piece kind of covering up the articulation and it kind of functions as a butterfly joint. 
but doesn't really get like all that much movement. I wish that we were able to get a little bit more out of this, but you know, it is what it is. Not too bad. And then he does have a ball joint at the shoulder so his arms can go all the way around. And you can bring his arms up a really nice amount. Check this out. Boom. That's pretty damn awesome. Look at that. And then let's see what else we have going on at the arms. He does have upper bicep swivel. There we go. He has a single jointed elbow that crunches to about right there, you know, just about 90. But then the way the wrist bends too kind of gives it like the illusion that it's all moving more than it really is, you know. And then he also can swivel at the elbow. And then at the wrist, he has a ball joint that gets a really nice hinge. And then you could swivel on the ball joint as well. So good stuff there. And then for the legs, let's see what we have going on. He's able to kick forward only to about right there. That kind of sucks. Let's see what we have going on. Is there something blocking it? No, not really. I guess it's just the upper thigh. But yeah, that's a, that's a, <laughs> he could only get his leg up to about right there. And then you could bring his leg back to about right there. He could kick his leg to the side a pretty good amount. That's nice. Damn, imagine him kicking someone in the face. Boom! <laughs> That's pretty dope. I do wish there was a little bit more forward movement, but, you know, again, he's a huge character, so you could kind of, like, forgive him. <laughs> the legs only go forward to right there. And then he does have upper thigh swivel, and the upper thigh swivel is hidden very nicely within here, but still gets, like, really nice range. Damn, that's dope. We see a lot of companies try this setup. It doesn't always work as good as this. I mean, it rarely works as good as this. This is probably, like, the best I've seen this setup really work, you know? That's awesome. And then he does have double-jointed knees. Boom. Whoa, look at the range on those. Bam. That's pretty good. And then at the foot, we get a hinge and then rocking ankles. And then each one of his toes has articulation. As you can see, we have hinges right here. So you could hinge them forward like that. <laughs> then you could bring them down a pretty good amount as well. And then each one of these is able to rotate. And then lastly, the tail is able to go up and down right there. And then is there a bendy wire in there? I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell, maybe. You know, I don't know if there's a bendy wire in there. If it is, it's a big piece of metal because that shit can't really move. <laughs> there might be a bendy wire in there, but the tail is pretty thick, so it's kind of hard to move it. But, you know, thankfully, that, that adds a little bit of support to this really big figure. But yeah, overall, I think the articulation is pretty good on this guy. I do wish there was a little bit more movement in the torso and a little bit more movement on the leg coming forward like this amount is not very much but aside from those two setbacks i think that the articulation on this guy is pretty damn awesome and even those two like flaws aren't really that big of a deal because the character's so big you probably like aren't going to have him kicking forward right in front of him or crouching down or anything like that so for a character like this the amount of articulation that he has works perfectly fine and even the limitations on those joints don't really take away from anything a character like this would be able to do you know so i am very happy with the articulation and i am having a lot of fun playing around with this guy Alrighty, so overall at the end of the day when the smoke clears the dust settles and it's all said and done this axie toys battlefield dinosaur carnivorous kin blood axe monstrosity is freaking awesome and so ridiculous in the best ways possible I, the armor and design is just so over the top that I just love it. I get such a kick out of it because it's just so crazy, you know, that they put all this armor on there with all the like bones and chains and like <laughs> spikes and all kinds of crazy stuff. It's a whole lot of fun to put together. It's a lot of fun to look at. And I think that in this form, it's going to make for like a really interesting display piece. It's going to be eye catching. It's going to stand out in your collection. You put this on your shelf with any other figure and this thing is going to like draw people's attention because there's so much going on. There's so much going on. There's so much to look at. So much good work to appreciate. The sculpting is so detailed. The paintwork is so nice. And just everything about the way this figure looks is amazing and over the top. I just really, really love it. And I think they did a great job with it. And then when you remove all the armor, the figure is a whole lot of fun to play with. With the armor on, it's hard to enjoy from like a posability standpoint because 
you know, some of those things fall off. There's just so much going on. It's hard to get a really good handle on the figure. But when you take all of the armor off, he's a whole lot of fun to play with. I think they did a great job with the posability on this figure, especially considering the size. They made some big improvements over some of their previous dinosaur figures. The main one being how easy it is to take off his feet. That was a big problem I had with the previous ones. I couldn't take the feet off without heating them up. And like, it would kind of come apart and it would seem like as if they weren't, like it wasn't supposed to come off for some reason but you could tell that it was supposed to come off it just wasn't executed perfectly in this case you could pull the feet off with no problem at all and you're able to get those armor pieces off and do different types of things i can't wait to see what people do as far as using this for customs i think there's a lot of potential here and i can't wait to see like those awesome customizers out there you know go wild with this because it is something very unique and different from anything else we have in our collections but yeah man this is a really great figure i love the weapons the extra hands and, you know, as far as accessories, there's nothing really missing from him. I think he has <laughs> pretty much everything that he needs and more. Um, this guy has a lot of good stuff going on in regards to, like, different types of material, you know. Obviously, you have the really well-sculpted plastic pieces, but then there's actual metal chains. There's soft goods. The, the cape looks amazing. The fur is awesome. The soft goods around the arms and legs are really nice. And yeah, man, I've got to say, I just like this figure a lot. I think that Axie Toys did a really great job with it. Not much else to say. They killed it. So huge thank you to them for sending this out to me. And if you want to pre-order this, I believe you could still get it on 5K Toys. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. If you like this weird out-of-the-box stuff that'll work good with like barbarians and swords and sandals type of characters, I think this will work with them as well as like random fantasy type of stuff, you know? Um, there's a lot of potential here, and I like that they have a little bit of lore going on with it. I think that's very cool. I'd be down to read some comics based on these guys. And yeah, man, I think this thing is badass. And with that, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Also, be sure to hit the bell notification so you know every time that I go live. Thank you very much. Peace.